So S3 irons, S3 Max are going to be our game improvement. The AMP iron is going to be our, you know, this, this replaces S3. We didn't want to call it S4. We wanted to completely change the identity. So we came out with a, this is our wheelhouse club. This is going to be for anybody. I mean, I'm a five handicap. I put these in play two days ago. I love them. I mean, they're awesome. They hit it a mile. They hit it straight. But it's also a 25 handicap. 30 handicap can play these things because they, they feel so good. They're very forgiving. And there's actually a ton of technology built into that that I'll get to in just a sec. Um, thoughts on the... Any feedback on the overall kind of like color? I know we're kind of taking a gamble. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's not run of the mill. It's not... You know, it's not safe for sure. Neither was Yeah. Well, neither was white. White was a big gamble. Yeah. Too, so. so, so far the feedback's been pretty good. Um, but I think once people start hitting it, um, there's going to be a lot of buzz. It's a good. But let's take, let's talk a little bit about amp. Uh, again, this is a mainstream iron. <coughs> Price points. We do have a combo set that comes with the adjustable hybrid, and that will be eight ninety nine. Yeah, we're getting a little aggressive. Um, what the deal is with these irons, it's a kind of a progressive set again, uh, 431 stainless body. In the long irons, what we've done the three through the seven, 431 stainless body, we've welded on a 174 uh, super, you know, like uh, super steel face onto that 431 body. So in the harder to hit clubs, the three through the seven, really a lot of forgiveness. I mean, a lot of distance, you know, kind of creates that entire face sweet spot. Still has E9 face technology. So you get to the seven iron, the same deal. Eight through the wedges is all just 431. This is a 431 body. It's got a V skid sole on the bottom. Again, for just about any turf, turf conditions, you're fine. A good turf interaction. Heel, I mean, heel toe weight. It's got all the bells and whistles that, that our S3 iron had with just a little bit uh, sexier look. On the custom side, you guys, I don't know if you ever tried to bend an S3. Pretty impossible. And plus, that black finish looked crappy once you did it. So these, you know, these are butter. You can go, do whatever. You can bend these to whatever you need to. So in the past, I know we had some problem with availability. Just take a stock set, bend them to however the customer needs it, and they're good to go. So I, I have the full set in my car in my bag, so I only have a couple.